I get back to that lead story we told you about a shooting at Great America this evening happening just before 8 o'clock when the park closed. You're getting some new details. Right, Natalie. so we know that there was a shooting. We were unsure whether it was inside the park or outside, but the latest information we have, three shot outside the gates of Six Flags Great America in Gurney. Of the three shot, all have non-life-threatening injuries. It does not sound at this point like an active shooter situation. It sounds like a drive-by shooting, Dane. You, you ever think we'd say, well, that's good news, a drive-by mm -hmm. shooting? It isn't good news, but obviously it's better than an active shooter situation on the ground there. Absolutely. As we say, if it is true that, you know, the, the injuries are fairly uh, minor, that's, that would be very good news. Again, this is all preliminary information. There you see video on the scene. Again, Nate Rogers of Fox 32. Well, uh, uh, is on his way along with uh, two photographers and should be on the scene there shortly to tell us exactly what's happening there. And we're also, we're talking, uh, our assignment desk has been talking to parents who have children at the park sheltering in place right now. We're working on uh, getting a, a phone conversation for you in just a couple minutes with one of those parents who perhaps can tell us what their child is seeing there. And, and the shooting all happening within the hour. I mean, we're talking about the first report at 750. We know the park closed at 8 o'clock. There's clear a rush of people heading right. toward the front gates and if they were all there when the shooting happened uh, you know goodness gracious so many people in one place that could all be potential targets and we are looking at a live picture now we do have a camera on the ground that is it appears to be near the entrance to uh, Six Flags Great America right off of Highway 132 the park as you know probably a couple hundred acres south of 132 right off of I-94 heading up to Wisconsin uh, and as you mentioned Natalie having been to that park many times and taken my children to that park I know that uh, about a half hour before closing they begin pushing people People away from the exterior, the perimeter of the park, and towards the, uh, the the entrance or exit to the park. So there probably would have been a fairly sizable crowd near the uh, entrance at that point. We're talking about a weekend right before school begins. You know, parents trying to get that last push of summer before that starts. Illinois State Police on the scene, Lake County Police uh, on the scene as well. And so we're reaching out to them to see if we can get any additional information. We know one of those uh, police bodies did call for additional ambulances. Okay, we're going to stay on top of this. We'll get right back to it as soon as we have some new information. In the meantime, we're